we are going to start with our introduction to graph theory. Coming to the definition, a graph G is equal to V comma E, where V is the set of vertices or nodes and edges are the subset of V cross V, which are also called as arcs. If the edges have the direction, then it is called as a directed graph, otherwise it is an undirected graph. Suppose example, if you see this is a graph with the four vertices A, B, C, D and the edges B to A, B to C, C to A and C to uh, D to C. So this we represent by using a ordered pair. So edges will be represented by B, A, B, C, D, C and C, A. So where C is the starting vertex and A is the ending vertex. C is the starting vertex and ending is the A vertex. So this is regarding your directed graph. Now suppose the undirected graph, there is no direction involved in it. So there is an edge between A to C and it is represented by the set notation B to A and A to B, B to C and C to A, D to C and C to A, D, A to C and C to A. So this is your edge set. So here whenever there is no direction, it is considered that there is an edge between A to C and C to A. So there are two edges involved in this. Next is the path. So suppose uh, I start from X and reach Y. So which involves no vertex repetition. Then such a path, we call it as a, where no vertex is repeated, is called as a path. Suppose example, suppose consider this uh, graph so a b c d e we call it as a to e path where there is no repetition of the vertices trail is nothing but no edge can be repeated so suppose example a to b b to c c to d d to e and e to b and b to d so here no edge is repeated but the vertices are repeated that is called as a trail so every trail will also have a path but every trail need not be a path next is walk so walk is nothing but there is no restriction of edge or vertex repetition so anything can be repeated either vertex or edge so your uh, path and trails are the walks but every walk need not be a path and a trail so your uh, walk is nothing but uh, Continue, uh, vertex edge vertex edge vertex edge that's what so a to b b to d d to a and a to b b to c this is your walk where you have a repetition of vertices as well as the repetition of edges so when you define a path we say that a path is a walk in which no vertex is repeated when you define a trail we say that a walk in which no edge can be repeated. So now if your starting vertex and ending vertices of your walk or path or trail uh, they are same then we call it uh, then it is called closed. If it is walk it is closed walk. So this closed walk we is a uh, walk is closed if x is equal to y. So a trail in which uh, starting and ending vertices are same we call it as a circuit. Example here a B A B C D B E D A. So we call this as a closed trail because you start from A and reach A. And it is a trail because there is no repetition of edges. Next is a uh, a path in which starting and ending vertices are same, we call it as a closed path, which is also called as a cycle. So, in this case, uh, there is no repetition of vertices as well as no repetition of edges. Example, A, B, C, D, A. This is your closed path, which is also called as a cycle. And the... Uh, Number of edges involved in any walk, we call it as the order of walk. And here order of cycle is nothing but the number of edges involved. Order of trail is number of edges which are involved. That is also called as the length of the path, length of the cycle and length of the walk. Now suppose G is a 
graph with V vertices and E edges, an undirected graph with the uh, AB belongs to V, A not equal to B. If there exists a trail from A to B, then there is a path from A to B. So here trail is nothing but the repetition of it just can be there without the repetition of vertices. But so if you have a trail from A to B, it means that there is a path from A to B. So what is the process here is you have a, path, a trail from A to B. So here remove any cycle on the repeated vertices. So you will get a path. Now suppose an undirected graph we call G as connected if there is a path between any two distinct vertices of G. So if you say that graph is said to be connected whenever if you pick any two vertices there should be a path between those two vertices. So otherwise we say that the graph is disconnected with the multiple components. Suppose here this is one graph, this is another graph, this is another graph here. It is a disconnected graph with three components. This Suppose this is my graph, I can draw this graph as a two disconnected component. This is one common component, this is another component because there is no edge between the vertices of one component with the other edges between the vertices of one component with the another component. Now, for any graph, the number of components in G is denoted by K of G and uh, 1 less than or equal to K of G less than or equal to the number of vertices. That means the number of components will be in between from 1 to V. So, how do we find the determine the number of components of G that you can identify. So next is multi graphs, a graph in which between any two vertices there are more than one edges. So suppose uh, for this graph, suppose between these two vertices there are three edges. So we call this as multiple graph of multiplicity 3. So for this at vertex, this vertex, the multiplicity is 1. Here it is 1, here 1, here 1, here 1. Only for this part it is 3. Next is uh, subgraph complements and graph isomorphism. Suppose this is my graph. So suppose G is a vertex and edges is a graph. Then G1 is equal to V1, E1 is called a subgraph if V1 is a subset of V. That is this V1 is a non-empty subset of V and E1 is a subset of E. So where each edge of E, edge of edge in E1 is incident with the vertices in V1. So that is nothing but if suppose this is my graph and I consider some vertices which are the subsets of this graph. Suppose I consider A, C, D and suppose I consider only a one edge in this subgraph. So here this edge is also present in here and this uh, vertices A, C, D are also present in this. So this we call it as a subgraph of G. Now how many subgraphs are possible. So, you can have the vertex at any number of vertices. So, 2 power uh, V will be the number of uh, subsets for each of the graph and uh, for each of the edge in that we can have the 2 power e number of edges excluding the empty vertex set and empty edge set. Now, spanning subgraph is nothing but a graph in which you consider all the vertices of the given graph. So, a graph in which all vertices are present, a subgraph in which all vertices are present, we call it as a spanning subgraph. So, in a spanning subgraph, the number of vertices will be equal to the number of vertices in the original graph and the number of edges will be equal to the 2 rise to the number of edges in the given graph because each edge may be present in the subgraph or may not be present in the subgraph. So, you have 2 power uh, E options for the edges. So, in a spanning, a spanning subgraph V1 is equal to V. That is the number of vertices in the subgraph is equal to the number of vertices in the given graph. Next is the induced subgraph which uh, include the edges of E in V1. Suppose V1 is the uh, set of vertices that is uh, uh, B, C, D, E. So now suppose B, C, D, E is the vertices set, then this is represented by the V1 with an angled bracket. So here all the edges uh, 
which are present in the original graph with these vertices must also be present in the induced subgraph. So, a subgraph in which the vertices of uh, uh, subgraph will contain the edges which are present in the original graph. Suppose if I remove this edge from the subgraph, then it is not a induced subgraph, but it is a subgraph. Because if you remove this uh, edge in this, so then in the original graph, you have an edge between B and D. But if you don't have, then it is not an induced subgraph. Next is uh, a complete graph Kn. So here N is the number of vertices. And suppose uh, I want to draw K2. So how does it look? So here if I write A2 is nothing but I have two vertices. So and I have an edge between 1 and 2. This is K2. Now K3 is nothing but I have three vertices and between every vertex I have an edge. Now K4 is nothing but I have four vertices and between every vertex I have an edge. So, this is K4. K1 is nothing but a single dot. K1, K2, K3, K4 and this is K5. So, a complete graph is nothing but between any vertices I should have an edge. So, if I have right n is nothing but the number of vertices. K1 is one vertex, K2 is two vertices with one edge and K3 is three vertices with uh, three edges. K4 is nothing but four vertices with six edges. K5 is nothing but the five vertex and between every pair I have an edge. So, this is your K5 graph. Now, what is the number of uh, edges in complete graph Kn is nothing but Nc2. That is nothing but between any pair I have a edge which is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2. Next is a complement of a graph. So, given this graph, so complement of a graph is obtained by the Suppose you have an edge in the original graph, then you will not have an edge in the uh, complement graph. If you have an edge, then you do not have an edge in the complement graph. So, how you obtain this graph is nothing but. So, you can write this uh, edges of a graph as V cross V. As I told, it is a V cross V. Uh, edge is a subset of V cross V. Now, if you take uh, that V cross V as a relation, then how do I find the complement of a relation? The complement of a relation is obtained by subtracting the elements of R from the V cross V. So, that is why here uh, if you consider A, B, C, D, E as the vertices, then V cross V will have 5 cross 5 which is 25. So, which is nothing but uh, excluding the uh, or, uh, loop, we will have 20 uh, edges. So, now from those you exclude these edges. So, the, remove this edge, remove this edge, remove this edge, remove this edge, remove. So, that is nothing but from K5, re remove the edges which are present in the original graph, then you will get what is called as a complement graph. Suppose you consider this is my K5. From this, if I want to find the complement of this, so remove this edge, then remove this edge, remove this edge, remove this edge, remove this edge, then remove this edge, remove this edge. So, whatever is left out that is your this graph which is called as a complement graph. So, example your uh, complement of a graph uh, So, next is, uh, yeah, we will stop here. Thank you.